And I've always looked up to you. I don't know if you've known that. And so that's what also throws me off because I'm like, oh, Yak Sunny, but we started at the same time. <laughs> So I should be like, yeah, me and Yaxeni, but it's like, oh, that's Yaxeni working. I'm like, okay. How many, how many Jantana you did? Oh, I think I did three, three Jantanas. Yeah, and that's yeah. probably what it was. We kept seeing each other there, you know. Jantana, yeah, so, Jantana classic. Classic. That's, yeah, the classic yeah, that country. was. And, and she was probably one of the first to change the way they structured the competitions for the athletes and had food backstage and things like that. She was really, really awesome yeah. with that, right? Yeah. And now you're seeing a little bit more and hopefully that trend will continue. We'll see a lot more with a lot of the other promoters right across the board. And since you mentioned the Wings of Strength, they, I've heard, and I've never competed in any of their shows, but I heard they really treat the athletes well too. Yeah, very well. Yeah. Totally different than before. Yeah. yeah. Ed and we Betty Pariso. Yeah, the promoter is really good. Really good. They put us as a, as a first place, you know, mm -hmm. always. Yeah. First, the, the woman's body building. You know, before, we always stay in the, you know, in the little corner, you right. know, right there. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's true. true. Yeah. It's true. But Ed and Betty Pariso also, they used to treat the athletes, I mean, and they still do. I mean, I'm saying used to because I don't compete anymore, but when we were competing, Ed and Betty laid out the tables. I mean, it was really, and it really made you feel good because you worked so hard, you know, and then to come and see, wow, you know, they, they went the extra mile for the athletes, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. So the reason for coming back, it's because they put him back the Olympia on stage. Yeah. So when I hear that, so when I say I'm qualified already, so I don't have to qualify it again. So right. let me give it to me one more chance. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm planning to do this, but this is my last one for sure. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm tired mm -hmm. and I know right now, I feel I know in the same level that the late, the new competitors, Right. So I'm going to be 54. It's mm -hmm. not the same. Even right. when I work out, it's not the same. So mm -hmm. I have to realize like uh, my time is already done. Mm -hmm. But this year I want to, you know, try one more time and that's right. it. Okay. Well, it's good for you. But let's not write off the 50 year olds because remember there was uh, Lisa Auckland, um, Lisa, Betty yeah. Pariso. They all placed in the in the top um, in the Olympia, and they were like fifty and over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they had a, a nice group of women that I mean, that's really mature muscle. You know what I mean? So let's not mm -hmm. write off the like the fifties, the new thirty. So let's not <laughs> let's not write it off. And you are just another example of how amazing you know women are, and how they can last long in sports when you eat right, when you exercise, and you just, that, you know, and I sound like a fan, and you know what I 